Arizona is ranked top three as far as inbound migration from other states. Let's make sure we dive into the details. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Josh Zuniga, your local real estate specialist here within Phoenix and Scottsdale, Arizona. And today we are gonna to talk about why Arizona is ranked top three as far as inbound migration coming in from other states. Now, before we get into it, I wanna give you a stat that actually came in for the US Census Bureau coming in from 2010 to 2020. Arizona actually increased as far as growth by 12%. Now that's a significant increase. If you've seen some of the other videos, especially if you're trying to relocate here to Phoenix, Arizona, you'll understand some of the reasons why people are actually moving here. Uh, but some of our top states that people are moving from are going to be Illinois, are going to be California, are going to be Washington, uh, Colorado, and even Utah are some of the top states that are actually moving here uh, to the Phoenix area and the Scottsdale, Arizona for a number of reasons. Now, I know that the state actually grew by 12%, but we actually wanna talk about Maricopa County itself. So the population within Maricopa County actually grew by 18%. Now, this is just a stat from going up to 2020, okay? Now, I know over the past couple of years, especially with COVID, that number has definitely increased and we're probably on the range now, closer to 5 million people here within the Phoenix area. I know back in 2020, we had around 4.6 million, but we're adding anywhere from from 100 and I'm saying 150 to maybe even 170 new Phoenicians that are actually coming to the state on average, just from all the inbound migration that we had from those states that I just actually gave off to you just shortly ago. Now, how does this actually relate to real estate if you're looking to move here to the greater Phoenix area? Now, before we get started into that, I wanna read a um, little paragraph or a little excerpt that we actually put out from one of the local loose stations here. And it states this, there are 5% fewer homes available to meet demand than a year ago, and new residents are still coming, many of whom are looking to buy a home, according to the report. Some forecast another 15 to 25% increase in home prices in the coming year. The majority of those people moving to Arizona are actually coming from California. Now, it continues to go on and it says, in recent years, 63% of California is looking for a change considered Arizona as a possible contender before moving. And according to the report, and 17.37% of Californians leaving the state this year are actually moving to Arizona. Washington and Illinois coming in second and third place looking at states when people are looking to actually move here to the beautiful Grand Canyon state of Phoenix and Scottsdale, Arizona. Now we know just from personal accounts, people in Illinois, especially coming from Chicago, you guys get smacked with property taxes and here are property taxes on average less than 1%, somewhere around around 0.6, depending on the area, depending on the city they actually live in. According to obviously some of those other states, especially coming from California and Washington and Illinois, the cost of living coming to Arizona and the Phoenix and Scottsdale areas are significantly less, meaning that you're going to be probably buying a more affordable home here. Your cost of living on the daily is going to actually be a lot better. And if you're moving to some of those states that are in Washington or in Chicago, you're actually gonna see a lot, uh, lot better weather here. So our summers, yes, they are hot for about three months. You're gonna see days that are over 100, degree, over 100 degrees consecutively, that's for sure. But guess what? Eight to nine months out of the year, it's gonna be beautiful weather. You don't have to deal with rain. You don't have to deal with clouds. You don't have to deal with wind. You don't have to deal with all this heavy snow and blizzards. We've never even seen anything that's close to zero degrees here within the greater area of Phoenix and Scottsdale. And for me, being a warm-blooded guy, that's definitely going to be a huge plus if you're looking to make the considerations when moving uh, here to the Phoenix and Scottsdale areas. Now, what are some other cities that are actually doing um, some great increases, not only within the Phoenix and Scottsdale, but there are some really wonderful cities on the outskirts, which are a surprise. We have Tempe, we have Gilbert. Uh, Gilbert has really blown up over the years. If you do some research on Gilbert, it's actually known as one of the most family friendly cities in the United States. So if that's a big consideration for you, if you're a family, if you're looking to start a family, that's a wonderful addition to have. I am personally from the West Valley. I do love Gilbert, but I do feel like Peoria is going to be the same thing as Gilbert is over in the West Valley here. We have wonderful communities. We have wonderful infrastructure that's actually being built. There's a new factory uh, being built uh, just north of Peoria on the, T uh, the TSMC factory. And that's gonna be building up so much new infrastructure from commercial to residential, to new restaurants. That's going to be holding a new staple of actual production and overall economic growth coming to the new uh, the new years uh, within 2025 all the way up to 2030 that the North Valley has never actually seen before and the West Valley. There's even talks, keep that on the low key, uh, that they're actually going to be putting a new airport in Peoria as well because there's obviously a lot of high-end officials that are coming from you know Taiwan and other parts of the country to actually build infrastructure and have meetings and making sure that what they're actually doing uh, within uh, the greater Phoenix area and Peoria and North Phoenix is going to be 
able to sustain all of this growth that we have coming in. So what does this mean for you? Well, this means that if you're looking to move to Arizona, obviously being one of the top three, this is gonna be a wonderful consideration for you. I know there's a lot of actual questions that you may have, even actually after watching this video. Uh, and if you really wanna dive into the details and you wanna know about like, what is the lifestyle outside of what is the weather, let's go uh, break down more of what cost of living is. Let's break down more of what the real estate cost is based off an area, based off of what I'm trying to do for my family or what you're trying to do as a young entrepreneur. We can make sure that we have all of those discussions and make sure we have all those financial discussions. And then also make sure we just set expectations and also just set up a plan for you. We wanna make sure that my team and I are here for you no matter what it is, whether we need to set up a Zoom call, a coffee or a lunch. We just wanna make sure that we're there for you every single step of the way. Feel free to reach out to us at info at Josh Zuniga. Dot com. Again, info at joshzuniga.com. Feel free to explore my website at joshzuniga.com. Again, joshzuniga.com. You can reach out to us, fill out any of the forms in there. We'll be able to get in contact with you and we can schedule that phone call or we can schedule that lunch and we'd be happy to speak to you and your family here shortly. But until then, guys, if you found value on this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.